Hello Capricorn, how are you doing today? In this reading, we are going to be checking if a situation between you and another person is going to end up either in a makeup or a breakup. I will be able to tell by the cards that we get out in the reading at the end of the reading basically which direction this is going in. So let's get started for you. Let's clear the space before I do start any readings of any of the energies that have been around here, any other previous tarot readings that I have done, and I call in your energy to come in and your spirit guides to guide the reading for us forward as they always do. So let's see what's going on with you. We're going to get um, about five cards out basically showing your your next steps, your next feelings, the next behavior, and then we're going to get the the, the same cards out for them, but see how they're going to be reacting back towards you. It's basically like an unfolding of events that is to come. So with this uh, unfolding, we'll be able to tell basically, is this going to work out or not? Makeup or breakup situation. So let's see for your tarot reading, Capricorn, what's going on with you. So let's get some cards out. Oh, first card that has got my attention. We've got a muse of voices. Somebody is really thinking, if this is your energy, by the way, it is general. So you can reverse energies around as well. That's a card of thought. That's a card of um, making plans as well, planning for the future. The king of swords energy, very thought processed, um, feeling very strong as well. Kind of like I got this energy of somebody making a decision and it's almost like I'm, this is my decision. This is what I'm doing. So it's going to be interesting to see your person's energy, exactly what's going on with them. So let's get some extra cards out here for you guys so we don't have to keep shuffling uh if the reading re resonates with you please hit the thumbs up button if you want to see more videos from me you can hit the subscribe button the videos do come out two at least two to three times a week um what else personal readings there's going to be a link in the description box below it is an email address i'll also put it over here on the bottom of the screen so let's get going um Definitely that energy. Love that love that coming up there. Very air orientated energy as well, which is quite different for you being Capricorn. But it's almost like planning for the future, making up your mind, this is what you want to do. This is where you want to be or with whom you want to be with or the decision that you've made it's almost like i'm picking up this energy of it being like this is final this is final so let's see their energy what's going on with them wow <laughs> nine of pentacles somebody likes this decision that you've made somebody's feeling really secure and stable with regards to perhaps a conversation that you guys have had or just the way that this person's feeling they're feeling very strong very stable in their energy in itself they could be quite stable person um they could be working very hard, f uh, focusing on like money basically because the nine of pentacles always talks about stability and um, i do feel like this person's working very hard but there's something that you could have told them or a decision that you made and you spoke to them and they really uh like what they're hearing they do like what they're hearing so let's get the overall joint energy a bit deeper in there what's going on let's have a look and see Two of Pentacles, yeah, somebody without a doubt. Basically, everything I just said came up in this little deck of mine. Um, it's a decision that got made. Two of Pentacles, maybe for a while, because it is the Two of Pentacles, you may have been thinking, is this the right person for me? Um, is this going to work? Are we going to move together? Are we going to move forward? Uh, what is all this going on between me and this person? And the Two of Pentacles is literally making up your mind. And I kind of felt that really from the beginning with that King of Voices coming up there. And that just confirms it even more. It's like, finally made up my mind. I finally made up my mind. Or we've made, or we both made up our mind that this is what we're doing kind of a thing. I like that. Let's see next steps that are coming out here nine of voices somebody's worried and anxious about the future so in your energy if it is your energy on top here i do feel a bit of anxiety and we're going to see a bit deeper in what is causing the nine of voices usually nine of voices does involve worrying a little bit thinking about what's happening in the future thinking about what is still going to take place it can usually happen at night time as well um just when you're about to go to sleep you start thinking about things and you start worrying about the future oh I saw a card on this one. We've got the moon energy that has rocked up here. You may be worried that somebody is not telling you the truth here. And um, I'm wondering why this is coming up because the previous cards that were here, there was almost like this decision of this is what I'm doing. This is what I want to be with. I want to make this decision. And you got somebody else in the reverse position with the moon card. It's also Pisces' energy. It's almost like they're going, or they may not be 
completely telling you everything that they feel. It's not necessarily that they're lying to you. It may be you, you're trying to speak to them and say, I want to move forward with you. This is the, the decision that I have made. And they kind of going, okay, um, everything will be fine. Don't worry about it. It's like they're kind of like not really coming on board with you, planning to move with you into the future. And that can really make you worry. It's almost like, are they really serious about me? Are they really serious about me? Let's see what's the overall energy here. We'll see deeper. You might even be worried that they're talking to somebody else. You might even be worried that there could be somebody else in their life. It could really get to you. Why are they not really? Perhaps um, you know it can. This is something that usually happens at night, so it can even indicate that you notice them maybe online at night or in talking, and you're wondering who they're talking to. Are they talking to somebody else besides me? I kind of pick up a little bit of jealousy coming in here as well. From their energy, there's this really energy. Either you do have a problem here. I'm just going to put it out that somebody maybe is not telling you the truth. The overall energy is worrying that. That there could be somebody else and this energy but the kind of vibe that I picked up on from this card is more like um almost like they're not taking it seriously what you're feeling or they're just kind of like going no it's like no and they're not really taking it seriously or they're not really thinking that how serious you actually are and that you could be planning for the future and they're just kind of like going let's just go with the flow they're taking it very very easy that can make you feel really insecure this is actually really interesting let's see what comes up here next there you go, your wheel of fortune. This is what I was picking up on. This is the kind of vibe I just said, kind of like going with the flow. And the actual meaning of the wheel of fortune is to flow. It's to allow things to unfold when they're meant to unfold. And having this faith and this belief that everything is going to unfold perfectly in divine timing, divine order. And yes, this energy of you having this in your, in your energy, I kind of like... Also, when I see this with regards to relationships as well, it does talk about people that are fated for each other. It does talk about as well needing to sometimes wait for certain events to arrive or come. There's a perfect timing for everything or perfect um, alignment for everything to occur. We just have to get there in time frame from where we are now to where we need to go. This is also a card of acceptance as well. It's kind of like accepting that this is going to unfold. And, you know, the vibe that I'm picking, picking up on more than anything, it's more an energy of trusting where things are going to go. Everything will work out just fine. Everything will work out just fine. I kind of pick it up from their energy. So let's have a look and see. Yeah, there's that creative energy. And this is the intuition I was talking about. I do feel like maybe this is what they're going to speak to. They're going to be like, you know, let's not worry so much. Let's not freak out so much. I, I don't feel like, honestly, I'm going to be totally honest with you. I don't feel like they lying to you intentionally or that something really weird is going on here. I, f I just feel like they've got a very kind of like relaxed attitude towards life in general. They kind of flow very easy, especially with the Queen of Wands coming up here. This is also a fire sign as well. you got this little black cat here, which means that this Queen of Wands energy is really trusting intuition, trusting the unseen, very creative energy as well. They like to create their future, but they also have this energy of, and they very, can be a very creative person. Sometimes it indicates um, people that are quite like in the limelight or they have public jobs like maybe they speakers or um you know even musicians and actors have these kinds of energies as well so they're quite used to being in the limelight talking to people so they may talk to a lot of different people but i honestly i'm telling you i don't pick up anything strange from them like they could be lying to you intentionally i just feel like they got a much more relaxed kind of attitude so let's have a look and see Got the six of cups energy here you for some of you guys you might have a child with this person or be wanting to actually looking into the future you may even be looking at them going this could be the mother or father of my children in the future um you really have a deep connection with them there's also a history between you and them so i don't feel like this connection is for those of you who have met this person like a week ago no this is a bit longer this is somebody that you've known already and you guys have a deeper connection with the six of cups there so it says it tells me that you've got memories that go maybe 2020 you know 2019 even a bit further back between the two of you this memory is this longer i feel like a bit of a long connection um it is what at least into the last year 2020 is energy so there's memories that you guys have and um at least this energy is is what's keeping you guys also together as well it feels like there's been a bit of a road here that's been taken so let's have a look and see 
There we go. There's that inspiration. The page of inspiration. Interesting. I do feel, honestly, there is going to be a bit of a talk that gets had between the two of you. And again, I'm finding this so interesting. You're definitely dealing with somebody who is a little bit more of a spiritual person. I'm going to show you why. It's surprising me to see this card. These are two different decks, but they have two little black cats there in these cards. Maybe they've got black cats, this person. And um, they really... Uh, trusting intuition they are gonna you are you guys are gonna talk and by the way this uh page of wands energy which is the inspiration in the muse tarot does mean a lot of communication over the phone as well talking over the phone i feel like there's going to be almost like a a discussion that you may be freaking out about here there's almost like this energy of what is happening i feel like this is going to be discussed between the two of you so i've got this vibe of you guys actually talking with each other and you might really start to feel secure because of that let's have a look and see oh oh i see maybe they the one who does not get secure after this there is a discussion that gets had that turns them from the queen of wands energy into the queen of pentacles in the reverse position so this discussion that comes in here is from your direction to their direction you might actually be telling them okay um i think this taking it easy going with the flow thing that you're kind of doing it's not really working for me i think you're gonna have to start thinking something serious that you might want to take this to the next level and this is going to make them go a little bit insecure here with the queen of pentacles coming up in the reverse position it's that confident energy from the queen of wands just kind of like like losing confidence making them feel a little bit maybe nervous a little bit scared about the next steps that are going to be taken it's actually interesting to see this how this person just flipped like this with a conversation that gets had um, but I feel like they're looking at that security now they're looking at that stability. They're looking at that um, energy of what is happening. It's very funny. I just actually picked up on something here. You must know the pentacles energy being your energy, by the way, this is what you value more than anything. It's slow moving energy. But for them, they feeling like this is happening a bit fast and they're not sure how to handle it. Even though you guys may have been together for a while. Um, I just realized I've got a really bad cut on my finger oh guys in nasty sorry about that um i forgot to put a bandage on it so um with this um rabbit here it indicates that things are really moving much faster than what they wanted to move it's kind of throwing them off their equilibrium just a little bit there so let's have a look and see what's the overall energy going to be oh no you guys all this is a conversation that needs to give needs to happen it needs to happen. Um, yeah, this is a conversation that needs to happen. Uh, it's going to be, there's that quick moving energy, the Ace of Swords. It's communication again. Swords energy does mean air. So it means those thoughts that coming from that King of Swords over there, it is going to be taking action here. And this is also about action that's going to get taken. Um, I do feel like you guys are going to move forward with each other. You're going to, even though it can be, obviously relationships can always be a little bit tricky. It's never smooth sailing, but it does indicate victory at the end of the day. Let's have a look at that loss card guys your reading is it's difficult to wow tower card coming in i know exactly what's happening between the two of you um i'm going to get one more card out here do not freak out about the tower card you see this ace of swords that comes up here it overrides the energy of the tower and it changes what the tower means the tower card most people will look at it and go oh you guys are gonna have a breakup not necessarily depending on what cards come before it and what cards come after it as well with the ace of swords coming in here it does indicate that i think what you wanted to have was this connection going to a new total place it is gonna it is gonna go that way queen of swords this person is going through a whole bunch of different emotions they are going through a whole bunch of different emotions. With the Queen of Swords in the reverse position, I feel, honestly, this is a person who loves to go with the flow. And at this point in time, I think you're giving sort of like an ultimatum to them. You're telling them, look, it's enough of this go with the flow kind of vibe. We need to get serious. We need to start making plans here where we're going to like, you know, move in with each other. We're going to get married. We're going to get engaged. We're going to get serious. And, um... This is almost their vibe. I feel like they're pulling back energy here, not because of the tower card being there, but it's got to do with their energy of thought. I kind of feel like they're letting you take control of the situation. They're kind of flowing with you, um, even though 
with the Queen of Swords, what you need to know, the Queen of Swords energy is a planning energy, just like the King of Swords as well. It's planning. But because you got the King of Swords there and their Queen of Swords is in the reverse position, male or female energy, I feel like they're allowing you to take the lead. And they're kind of pulling back on their energy. They're following where you're going. And that's the biggest shift that this connection sees. It's not that they're pulling away or they're breaking something up. It's them following your lead. Because I feel like there's the King of Swords. What did I tell you? They're following your lead. What did I tell you? It's because they 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 going. I I I okay. This is it. You're uh, you're doing your thing. Um, there's your King of Swords. Yes, your King of Swords again. And I do feel like the Queen is following the King, even though it may be the other way around. It may be the King is uh, can be a female energy and the Queen can be a male energy as well. This is the biggest shift that this relationship sees. They're kind of letting you take control of a situation. Um, it's not that they don't want to be with you. I feel like they kind of you know, with the Queen of Wands being there, right in the center here, yeah, and the and the Wheel of Fortune being in the top area, I do feel like they're quite a spiritual person, but I don't think they take sometimes commitment very seriously, but they seeing that you do. And because of that, they may have a bit of insecurities as well with the Queen of Pentacles, even the Queen of Swords being in the reverse position. They may be going, I don't know how things are going to go, but... Um, you better show me what you want to do then. And I do feel like they're kind of handing over this this control over to you twice now. The first card out was King of Swords. Last card out is King of Swords. And their energy is the Queen of Swords. Like literally going, okay, take over. I'm going to follow you. And this is going to be the biggest shift that this relationship sees. Somebody going, it's almost like somebody giving up. Like somebody's going, okay, I give up. Just, just what do you want to do it's like you know which is kind of nice a bit of surrender energy coming through there because you know at the end of the day we have to surrender to love finally and not be actually afraid of um giving our heart to somebody or giving even you know maybe the rest of our life to somebody to be with them and i feel like they've got into this place of surrender there so if you're going to ask me if this is a makeup or breakup it is definitely a makeup energy it's a very interesting journey going through here from the very beginning i almost feel like it's you trying to um get this to move on get this to go somewhere and they kind of like just sort of going okay oh don't worry about it everything's going to be fine and you're like no not anymore i'm capricorn i need to see the action taken i need to see the stability and they finally going okay go right ahead. This is a makeup, guys. Thank you so much for coming in. I'm wishing you all the best in this very interesting connection between you and this person. I'm sending my love in your direction. Bye.